Okay, so now that I have my um, white coat put in, you can see that um, based on the uh, color of her, she has a lot of white, and she also has a lot of rainbow. Because that white and rainbow are completely do different colors, I'm gonna make another layer right on, right on top of block color, which will make it right underneath white. And I'm gonna color everything that's not white, um, I'm gonna color it gray. Not that's gonna stay gray, but I'm just gonna put it in that block there. Let's make it a darker gray so I can tell the difference. I'm just gonna put that there so I know what's rainbow and what's what then and what's white and what's not rainbow or white. Okay, so now I'm just putting in my basic colors. This would be rainbow. This would be rainbow. Ow. Okay. Um, so what I'm doing now is coloring everything that's gray. Everything gray is going to be a rainbow color. Okay, now I have that. So now she looks very, like she actually should be called grayscale. Okay, and I still have some colors that are left. Um, that's this scarf and it's black and white, but I'm just gonna do that by itself. Um, okay, so now that I have everything that's supposed to be rainbow colored in, now I'm gonna lock its transparency. I'm gonna actually color in the colors. Locking transparency basically means that now I can color only where the gray is. Even the spots that aren't even colored at all, I can't color in. So only the gray is colored in. And that's the easiest way to block your color. So um, now that it has rainbow, I'm just going to color in everything that's red. It's supposed to be red. Okay. So once you're done blocking your color, we're going to finish on to the next step. 